It's the one campaign that's injected life into the presidential race and is showing a different face of Iran to the world. With your help, I will once again restore national strength to this country. Hassan Rouhani is Iran's former top nuclear negotiator and is promising to be different than President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. We will reconcile with the world. The policy of the government of prudence and hope will be constructive interaction with the world. The cleric's also interacting with voters in a different way. His run started slow, but it's picking up speed with an online media campaign and his camp has sent out millions of text messages for events like this one. This stadium is hot and it's completely full. There are more than 12,000 people here. And although they're outnumbered, the loudest cheers are coming from the women. His speech, especially the part about the rights of students, the rights of women in society and the security of women was very good. His supporters are great and energetic. I know we are going to win. Overall, this campaign has a different feel from the last. Back then, Tehran was covered in posters and there were many rallies. Not so this time. Now the candidates are targeting their traditional support bases and using documentaries and TV spots to reach voters in faraway places. They're also using volunteers. There is a text message system through which we can inform targeted groups. These groups can be in different cities and provinces and can also be divided into different sexes. Candidates have until Thursday morning to convince Iranians they're right for the job. After that, it will become clear whether all the campaigning can translate into votes. Soraya Leni, Al Jazeera, Tehran.